With hurricane season upon us, city workers who will be staffing the emergency operations center when it's activated took part in a very realistic drill. You gave it to them? Yes. Okay. To, to make them aware of it? All right. The EOC is housed in Fire Station 5, but you won't see only firefighters here when a hurricane's about to hit. Okay. During an emergency, just about everyone's considered a first responder, including administrators and directors of public works, parks and rec, the library, and housing and community development departments. The human services are going to help you. Their jobs at the EOC have different titles and responsibilities. It's kind of a lot to think about, but we, we have to do it now so that we can be prepared for when the real things come. During the drill, they're given scenarios to play out in real time. They have to know what to do, who to call and how to prioritize those tasks. This is basically building the relationships in here now so that when we need to respond we know who to talk to, we know how to get things done quickly so we can get the city back up and running. A call center will direct help to residents and visitors who need it. Just hang tight and we'll get someone out there as soon as we can. All right. Technology will be a big help to those who are out in the field. Police, firefighters and others will be able to report incidents electronically and what they report will show up here. They have a tablet and a phone on the trucks. They can actually take pictures and report incidents back into here so we know what's going on out there right away. The system is just one of the upgrades made to the EOC over the past few years. Since those who are assigned to ride out the storm here could spend multiple days and nights in the building, there's a kitchen, some rudimentary sleeping quarters and showers with backup generators keeping the lights on. And with the busy hurricane season expected this year, those improvements are also expected to be very much appreciated by those who will be on duty for the duration of the hurricane. This is Cheryl Khan reporting for WPB-TV.